In this photo recreations episode, I wanna show you how I went about recreating this gorgeous photo by Caitlin Shaddle, Shadley. Oh, Caitlin, I am so sorry. I hope I did not butcher your last name. Uh, but this photo was featured on the Lens Baby Instagram feed. Now, I'm gonna be doing this using Boris FX optics inside of Photoshop. So this isn't a sponsored video by Boris FX. Uh, this is an actual product that I'm using more and more in my photography post-production workflow. Uh, I do have an affiliate relationship with Boris FX. And if what you see in this video is something that you want to add to your post-production photography workflow, uh, I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. So if you're not familiar with Lens, baby they make some really great lenses and accessories that can help you make some really great lens effects in camera which basically means that the image that you see is what was captured when the photo was taken and there's no post work done on the photo so in this case since we're recreating the photo almost everything obviously will be in post so I started with finding an image that's similar to the photo that Caitlin took. And it just so happens that over the holidays, I took a picture that's pretty close. And I opened up the raw file in the camera raw plugin and made some contrast and noise reduction adjustments. And once I was happy with that, I exited camera raw and then converted the resulting image into a smart object, which is something that you need to do in order to use optics. So I opened optics and one of the first filters that I applied was auto adjust. And and I left that at its default settings. Next, I applied S Vignette, which is my go-to vignette tool, both in photography as well as video, because for me, it's one of the best post-production vignette filters that you can get. And for this, I started with a great preset that I thought got me in the ballpark of the color space that I wanted to be in. But after some experimenting, I decided to scratch that idea and play around with some of the other filters. I tried S Film Effect, which has some really great cinema film stock emulations, but I eventually settled on using the film stocks filter, which also has a lot of great presets, but are more based on photography film stock emulations like Agfa, which is what I landed on. Aside from removing the vignette, I left all of the other settings alone. The next filter I added was the sunset filter, which is in the gels and tints section. I wanted to use this filter to act more like a typical grad filter that you might put in front of the lens. Uh, so I added a gradient mask to limit the color to the top portion of the image. And after adding the sunset filter, I felt that the underlying film stock emulation was a little overpowering. So I reduced the opacity of that filter by about half. So the next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to emulate this uh, radial blur uh, that the Lens Baby Burnside 35 lens creates around the image. After some experimentation, I eventually settled on the S Blur Motion Filter, and I tweaked this to give me the radial blur effect that I was looking for. On top of that, I added the Sharpen Filter, but as soon as I did that, I realized that the Blur Motion Filter was overpowering more of the image than I wanted, so I ended up putting a circular mask on the filter so the blur didn't creep into the center of the image as much. And it also acts as a way of kind of directing the attention of the viewer into the center of the frame so it helped in that regard as well once i did everything i wanted to do i closed down optics i grouped everything into a folder and i converted that folder into a smart object and then cropped and saved out the image for instagram and that's how i created this image using boris effects optics as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you're interested in getting your hands on Boris FX Optics, you can use my coupon code BM-Optics-25 to get yourself 25% off at checkout. Now this coupon code only works for optics. If you wanna get your hands on any of the other great Boris FX products, uh, I'll put a different coupon code in the description so that you can use that for those products. But just so you know, you can only use one coupon code at a time. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions of photos that you'd love uh, for me to recreate. Uh, but even more than that, I would love to see the work that you guys are doing. And if you're using a product like Boris FX Optics in your photography post-production workflow, I would very much like to see what kind of work that you're doing with it. You can reach out to me on social media and follow me while you're at it. So that's it for this video. If you got value out of it, I would very much love and appreciate a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you have not already and i will see you guys in the next video bye for now